Listen and improve your English. The story of the Eiffel Tower's construction. Introduction. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. Located in Paris, France, the tower has become synonymous with the city itself. Designed by the French engineer Gustave Eiffel and built between 1887 and 1889, the Eiffel Tower has an interesting history that many might not know. This text will provide a detailed account of the tower's construction and design for English learners. Background The Eiffel Tower was constructed as the entrance arch for the 1889 Exposition Universelle. World's Fair, which was organized to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution, the French government wanted to create an impressive structure to showcase the nation's industrial prowess and to symbolize progress. A competition was held to select the best design for this monumental project. Gustave Eiffel's Proposal Gustave Eiffel, a renowned civil engineer known for his work on bridges and other large structures, submitted a design for a colossal iron tower. Eiffel's design was chosen from over 100 entries due to its innovative use of materials, the unique design, and the potential for it to become a symbol of French engineering skill. Design and Planning The Eiffel Tower was designed to be a temporary structure, intended to last for 20 years. It stands at a height of 324 meters, 1,063 feet, making it the tallest man-made structure in the world at the time of its completion. The tower consists of three levels, with the first two levels containing restaurants and observation platforms, while the top level serves as a radio and television broadcasting station. To construct the tower, Eiffel and his team of engineers used iron as the primary building material. They chose iron because it was both strong and lightweight, allowing the structure to withstand strong winds and support its own weight. The design also featured a lattice-like pattern which reduced the amount of material needed and further ensured the tower's stability. Preparation and Foundations The construction site for the Eiffel Tower was chosen on the Champ de Mars, a large public green space located near the Seine River. Before construction could begin, the site had to be prepared. The soil in the area was inconsistent, with layers of clay, sand, and gravel. To create a stable foundation, Workers dug 15 meters 49 feet deep and built a concrete base, supported by steel pylons driven into the ground. The Iron Framework With the foundations in place, work began on the iron framework of the tower. The structure consisted of over 18,000 individual metal parts, held together by more than 2.5 million rivets. Each piece was carefully designed and prefabricated in Eiffel's workshop located on the outskirts of Paris. The components were then transported to the construction site, where they were assembled with great precision. The construction process relied heavily on the use of cranes, winches, and scaffolding to lift and position the iron pieces. Workers labored tirelessly to connect the components, often working at dizzying heights without the safety equipment that is common today. Despite the dangerous conditions, only one worker lost his life during the tower's construction, a testament to Eiffel's commitment to worker safety. Building the Levels The Eiffel Tower's construction progressed in stages, with each level being completed before work began on the next. The first level, which reaches a height of 57 meters, was finished in April 1888. This level features a spacious promenade, where visitors can stroll and enjoy views of the city. Additionally, there are souvenir shops and a restaurant to cater to tourists' needs. The second level, at a height of 115 meters, was completed in August 1888. This level also features a restaurant, as well as an observation deck, which provides visitors with a stunning panoramic view of Paris. During the initial years, Visitors reached the second level by climbing a series of staircases, but elevators were later installed to make the ascent more comfortable. Finally, the third level, at a height of 276 meters, 906 feet, 
was finished in March 1889. This level was initially accessible only to maintenance personnel and served as an observation post for meteorological and scientific experiments. However, it was eventually opened to the public, and today, it houses a small museum dedicated to the tower's history and Gustav Eiffel's achievements. Completion and Inauguration The Eiffel Tower was officially completed on March 31, 1889. After just over two years of construction, Eiffel himself led a small group of government officials, journalists, and workers to the summit to celebrate the tower's completion. The official inauguration ceremony took place on May 6, 1889, and the tower was open to the public during the Exposition Universelle, which ran from May to October that year. Reception and Legacy The Eiffel Tower's construction was not without controversy. Many prominent Parisians, including writers, artists, and architects, opposed the tower's construction, fearing it would be an eyesore and detract from the city's beauty. In response to these criticisms, Eiffel emphasized the tower's scientific and technological value, as well as its temporary nature. Despite the initial opposition, the Eiffel Tower quickly became a popular attraction, drawing millions of visitors during the Exposition Universelle. Its success led to the decision to keep the tower standing beyond its original 20-year lifespan. Over the years, the Eiffel Tower has undergone several renovations and modifications, including the installation of new elevators, lighting systems, and broadcasting equipment. It has also served various purposes, such as functioning as a military radio post during World War I and as a meteorological observatory. Today, the Eiffel Tower is one of the most visited landmarks in the world, with over 7 million visitors each year. It has become a symbol of France and an enduring testament to Gustave Eiffel's engineering prowess. The tower's history and the story of its construction continue to captivate and inspire people from all around the world. Listen and improve your English.